First of all, God chose a family, a line of descent, into which the Saviour would be born. This was the family of Abraham, an ordinary fellow who lived a nomadic life in the Middle East. God revealed himself to this man and promised him a massive family who would be a designated people of God and a place where they would live in peace and security and that they would be a blessing to the whole world. Abraham's family started with one little boy born to a couple who thought they couldn't have children. But that boy grew up to have other boys and eventually this family multiplied to be the nation of Israel, known to us as the Jewish nation, whom through the, up, who through the many ups and downs of their checkered history, God guided and protected. As a nation, they frequently made the same mistakes as Adam and Eve ignoring God at times and going their own way. But God's plan was not to be derailed. He was determined to sort out the mess. Through the centuries, God sent prophets who gave clues to the identity of the rescuer who was to come. He would be from the family line of David, Israel's best and most famous king. He would be born in Bethlehem, David's hometown, he would be born of a young, unmarried woman. And the day came when an angel appeared to a young woman called Mary, who lived in Nazareth, and told her that she would be the one to have this unique child, who would be fully human and yet also God. Mary was engaged to be married to a carpenter called Joseph. Joseph was at first shocked to find out that Mary was expecting a baby and that he, Joseph, was certainly not the baby's father. He would have walked away from the marriage to Mary, except that God spoke to him and explained what was going on. This child to be born into their humble home was to be the one who would sort out the mess, the son of God, the savior. Your next stop on the trail is 16 Artillery Road, 